Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Colorado Springs Sawmill and LogFurnitureHowTo.com. My name's Mitchell Dillman, and I work with wood. And I work with metal. Today we just got a shipment in from our new sponsor, Sawblade.com. Where they've got a saw blade for just about every saw I own. I thought it'd be a perfect time to show you guys around a little bit. Take a close look at each of the saws I use. So let's spend the next few minutes and I'll show you around at some of the saws I use the most. Starting right here with my two hand saws. We've got this seven and a quarter inch Milwaukee Sidewinder. Of course, my skill saw, my Mag 77 worm drive. That's my workhorse. <laughs> Switch these blades out real quick. I'd say that one was a little bit worn out. <laughs> for just about everything we do. <laughs> All right. This is my chop saw. More specifically, it's a 12 inch. Sliding. Compound miter saw. That means it'll cut both a miter cut compounded at the same time. And it's clearly time for a new blade. <laughs> Let's give it a spin. Like a hot knife through butter, let's get to work. So this is my Grizzly G1023. And the great thing about this tool, it makes a great saw when you're not using it as a table. <laughs> it's my table saw, guys. It's a 10 inch table saw. Let's take a closer look. So we'll spend a minute and get this thing cleaned up here. So this is pretty much just like any standard table saw. Got a regular fence and a 10 inch blade. Which you'll see real quick is in dire need of changing. So let's spend a minute and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> First thing we'll do is get it out here where we've got a little more room to work on it. 
which you can see is really easy thanks to these wheels. <laughs> you guys, it's really simple to access this blade. You simply remove this, and there you have it. So whenever you're taking time to change the blade, it's always a great time to service the whole saw. So let's do it. What you'll see when we get our vacuum over here and get this thing cleaned out. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to be replacing this blade with one of our new Q-Saw 42 from sawblade.com. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Let's give it a spin. Get over here and take a look at my band saws. That's what we really have running around here, our band saws. <laughs> yeah, so around here, guys, I've got band saws in all shapes and all sizes. Of course, I've got band saws for cutting metal. Like this LS1600 metal cutting miter saw we get from our friends at tricktools.com. It's one of my favorites, guys. It's made right here in the good old USA. It's got a big capacity. And it'll cut through metal all day long. When it comes to bandsaws, most folks think of cutting wood. Of course, I got bandsaws that'll cut wood, too. So this is my Timber King portable fan mill. It's what I use to mill all these logs. Let's take a quick look at it and I'll show you how easy it is to change the saw blade. First thing we're going to want to do is back the pressure off the blade. And then we'll just open up these access panels, one on each side. I gotta get on my glove. I'm using a .042 teeth every seven eighths of an inch. And we're making sure that the teeth are pointed in the right direction. Take time to feed it through here. We're making sure to go over these studs right here. There. You'll see it tension up. Get 
just believe you that. Alright guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of my saws. Be sure to go check out sawblade.com for their entire collection of saw blades. And while you're there guys, be sure to check out their full line of bandsaw accessories, tires, and guides. Be sure to go check out tricktools.com for the best fabrication tools in the world. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. So come back next time, guys, and we'll start cutting these big timbers. We'll see you then. This is Mitch. Now here's a bandsaw blade for you. You want to see what that goes to? Check this out. Give you a little perspective.